welcome back to my channel and today I have another recipe video for y'all. So like I have said in the past, I am a constant lurker of the keto hashtag on Instagram. It is always a great place to scroll through. It helps me get ideas for new recipes, just all kinds of things. But lately there has been this thing called the egg loaf and I have seen it legitimately everywhere. So today I am going to try and recreate this keto egg loaf. And what is intriguing to me is that people are saying that this tastes like French toast. So what I'm going to do is cook this and then once it is cooked, I'm going to fry it in a pan in some butter and it is supposed to taste very similar to French toast. So we're going to 100% give this a try today because it sounds fabulous. As y'all know, I like relatively simple recipes. I get online a lot of the time and there is just some extremely intricate recipes that are just a little bit too advanced for me and I prefer something that I can throw together rather quickly, don't have to put too much effort into, but I like to get a big flavor payoff. So I believe that this is going to be one of those easy to throw together recipes that's going to have that big flavor payoff. So I'm going to stop talking and we are going to try and make this keto egg loaf. All right, so the first thing you need to do before we start cooking is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So for this recipe today, you're going to need a blender or an immersion blender or something to mix up all of the ingredients. A blender is supposedly the easiest way to go about this. So that is what we are going to do. All right, so let's begin to add the ingredients into the blender. So the first step is going to be adding eight eggs into the blender. And it's going to be hard to not get any shell in there, but I believe in myself, I can totally do it. Up next, I'm going to add in an eight ounce block of cream cheese. One important note is to make sure that this is very soft. So this has been sitting out for quite a while now, so it should blend very easily. In a mug, I just melted four tablespoons of butter. You wanna make sure your butter is melted and then pour that into your blender as well. Up next, we are going to use six tablespoons of coconut flour. As you can tell, mine kind of exploded. So I'm just going to take my tablespoon and measure out six tablespoons of coconut flour. Up next, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Up next, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking powder. And the last step is adding in some ground cinnamon if you want to. You don't have to add in ground cinnamon, but I feel like it will make a good little addition to it. We have now added all the ingredients for the egg loaf into this blender. So I'm going to add the top on and try not to make an explosion, which I normally do with a blender. All right, I just finished blending up our batter and now I have this eight by four loaf pan that we are going to cook this in. So you need to line it with parchment paper and I poorly lined it with parchment paper. I don't know how people line their stuff with parchment paper so easily, but this is a struggle. But you know, I made it work. Perfect. So now we're just going to pour our batter that we just blended up right into this pan. So our egg loaf is now ready to go in the oven. We are going to bake it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. So I will see y'all in 45 minutes when we take this out of the oven. I just pulled the egg loaf out of the oven after 45 minutes and it looks awesome. I'm gonna leave it here and let it cool for just a little while and then we're gonna slice it up and fry it in a pan and see how it turns out. You think that's a great idea, Bo? You think that's a great idea? 
Want to go for a walk while the cools? Oh yeah, stretch out for that walk, Bo. Stretch it out. Yeah, boy. You ready to go for a walk? Oh, get that back stretch in too. Oh yeah, can we get a happy nub? There's a happy nub. Yay, let's go for a walk. Bo's got his avocado. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What a cutie. Even my dog loves keto. Ooh, look at this beautiful little egg loaf I have right here. I have let this cool for probably an hour or so now, so what I'm going to do is slice this with a sharp knife, and I have a skillet heating up back here. We're gonna add in some butter, fry this up, and see how it tastes. This smells delicious, so I am super excited to give this a try. All right, I've got a big sharp knife right here, and we're just going to slice this. Ooh, this looks awesome inside. Look at that, it looks like bread. That's crazy to me. Has a little bit of an eggy texture, of course, but once we fry this, I bet this is going to taste awesome. What I'm going to do is add some butter into this pan to start melting. This is about a tablespoon of butter, but I think it might be a little bit too much, but oh well, we'll just let it melt down real quick. So now what I'm going to do is lay a couple of slices of our egg loaf into some butter on the pan. Y'all, I have such high hopes for this. I bet it's gonna turn out delicious. All right, so these have been cooking for a minute, so let's go ahead and flip them. Ooh, look at that crust on there. This one kind of broke a second ago, so I have to be careful with it. Oh. Ooh, those look beautiful, guys. Y'all, that legit looks like French toast. I am so excited about this. It's crispy on the edge. Ooh, it's gonna be good. These seem to be browned pretty well on both sides, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off and put them on a plate. Let's just take a moment to admire this. Oh my good golly, this looks delicious. All right guys, I just pulled the egg loaf off the stove and I must say, this really does look like French toast. It's got that nice little crispy exterior. Like, that is beautiful. Look at that. Ooh, I am so excited to give this a try and see how it actually tastes. So I don't have any sugar-free syrup with me, but I do have this maple honest syrup, which I'm going to use as my syrup on my French toast. I am just going to put syrup on one piece though right now because Cody called me and he's like starving and he's on his way home right now. So I'm going to just try one piece and I'm gonna let him have the rest because I'm a very nice girlfriend who feeds her boyfriend sometimes. So I figured if it's delicious, I will let him eat some of my egg loaf. So, let's give this a try. Let me pour this on one of them. Let's just do it like this, why not? Ooh, this is gonna be messy if I spill this. Okay, all right. So, put a little syrup on it. Let's give it a try. No joke, this tastes like French toast. Oh my gosh. That is so good. I can't stop eating it. Oh my golly, wow. I see why this has been so popular on Instagram lately. This is truly Delicious, oh my gosh. And someone's calling me while I'm talking about my French toast. Egg loaf, whatever you wanna call it. 
I must say that is absolutely phenomenal. That is really, really good. This egg loaf is delicious. You don't have to fry it. You could probably toast it. I don't know, maybe use it as like actual bread, but I'm gonna eat this as French toast. You could even add a little bit of stevia into the batter to sweeten it up just a tad. But I must say, this is a recipe you all have got to try. It is super simple to throw together and making it into this keto French toast is just to die for. Y'all will have to let me know if you make this recipe and what you think of it because I am thoroughly impressed. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will be back again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah! All right, the hungry boyfriend just walked in the door and is trying the egg loaf. Think he likes it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty tasty. <laughs>